Welcome back to Faithful Palette. I'm Jeannie. Today, I have a very special recipe for you. In this segment of Food as Medicine, I'm going to do a demonstration of flax oil and cottage cheese. Now, this is the result of Dr. Joanna Budwig, and she did a great deal of study on fats. And what she learned was that there are differences in fats, as we all know very well, but Dr. Budwig was one of the first to make this discovery. So what we've learned is that flax oil and cottage cheese emulsified together forms a completely third ingredient, which is capable of penetrating our cell walls and curing diseases as large as cancer, as minor as viral infections. And in my personal case, this is what I used for three weeks every day to cure my arthritis, after which I followed up with the apple cider vinegar. But this recipe, I've had a lot of people say, well, I just don't know how to make it. I, I understand it by principle, but I, I don't know how to put it together. So I've prepared this video for you so that you can learn to make this video. Now, I don't know where you are in your dietary practices at this point, but when I learned about this recipe, I was straight off the standard American diet and I didn't know anything about being a vegetarian or a vegan or 80-10-10 or a raw foodist or any of those standard labels. What I knew was that I was sick, very sick, with arthritis and a host of other things. And I needed some help. And I learned about this recipe and I didn't care that it came with cottage cheese. And I just wanted to get well. And so I would be I would be remiss if I didn't share this recipe with you because it is a sacred one to me. This one healed me personally. And I know that there are animal products out there. I don't eat animal products today, but I did, and I relied on them, and they have a place in our diet, and they have a place in our medicine. And I want you to understand that I'm using Nancy's cottage cheese, but you can use any cottage cheese. Even a pasteurized cottage cheese still has the ingredient necessary to make this recipe work and to have this remedy actually work within our bodies. This is a miraculous recipe to me and I'm going to share this with you and I hope that you learn to make this and that if you need it, that you are willing to try it, to make it, to eat it, and you'll grow to enjoy it. So here we go. In order to make flax oil and cottage cheese, you will need an immersion blender, you will need a seed grinder. You can use a coffee grinder or anything that you use. I use the Cuisinart Mini Mate Plus. I think I paid $30 for this. You will need a cottage cheese of your choice. Please choose an organic, low-fat variety. You will need flax oil. I choose barleens, and I choose one that does not have added lignans because the lignans come straight from the flax seed themselves and we're going to grind it fresh today. I don't want the old ones in the bottle. Now when you buy flax oil, understand that a quality flax product, in order to still have the qualities and properties that we need in flax oil, otherwise it can also be called linseed oil, but it must be stored in a chilled section in your grocery store in a dark colored bottle. Okay, You don't want to buy products off the shelf. A, a, processed food products that say, you know, with flax seed in it, because that's, you're not getting what you need from the flax itself. You want to buy this in the refrigerated section, and you want to buy your seeds in the refrigerated section as well. Any health food store will have plenty of this. And the flax seeds are fairly cheap. You can buy a bag of this for about $1.75. It's very cheap. And you use it by the tablespoonful, so it's very economical. The flaxseed oil itself for this bottle, um, I think I paid, this is eight ounces, I think I paid nine dollars for this. And again, I measured out by the tablespoonful, so it's fairly economical as well. Okay, here's how we make it. Now when you make the flaxseed oil, you want six tablespoons of the cheese. Add to your cottage cheese three 
tablespoons of your flaxseed oil. Using your immersion blender, and this is important, no other blender emulsifies this product, this, ingredient, this recipe, as well as an immersion blender. Don't use your regular beaters, it won't accomplish the job. And you're going to want to blend this until you cannot see any oil in it anymore. We're going to make these two products look like whipped cream. Here we go. As you can see, we don't have any visible oil, none of that yellow oil around the edges, and that's what you want. Now at this point, we need two tablespoons of flax seeds ground. Flax seeds cannot be used by the body until they are ground. Once they are ground, you need to use them immediately. I got this Cuisinart Mini Mate Plus. You can get whatever kind of chopper is convenient for you. You just want to grind this into a little powder. All right, then just add it to the cheese mixture. and blend it up. Okay, this is the core of the Budwig protocol. This is the flax oil, the cottage cheese, and the flax seed ground. At this point, when I first learned about this recipe, I thought, well, I'll just eat that. But I gotta tell you, if you're not used to this, the taste is not like cheese and it's not like whipped cream. The fruit really helps. So you can add anything to this at this point that you want to. The actual medicinal qualities come from emulsifying the oil and the cheese and making that product one product. Beyond that, if you wanted to, you could add a little honey or some agave nectar. You could throw in a little bit of cinnamon or perhaps some vanilla. My favorite thing to do is just to add a fruit salad to it. I like to put in enough fruit so that it's like a cream sauce to the fruit. So would you like a little cheese with your fruit, in other words, instead of eating this as one product and just adding a little fruit to it? I add a lot of fruit to it. And then I just blend it in. I want to get fruit in every bite. This cheese was not my favorite flavor. Today, I'm quite used to it. And everyone in my family is too. We can eat this for breakfast every morning. This is it. I want you to know that I ate this mixture every day for three weeks. At the end of that three weeks, my arthritis symptoms were gone. I used the apple cider vinegar to follow up on this. But this is a very precious recipe to me, and I give this to you from my heart, and I hope you enjoy it. Have a nourishing day.